NATO is basically the backbone of security in Germany, always has been since uh, Germany's accession to NATO in 1956. Uh, that's when Western Germany uh, rearmed itself after World War II and uh, the Bundeswehr was uh, was created and uh, we were a member of NATO from the, from day one, basically. So it's always considered to be um, uh, the, the secret of our security. Okay. Because we were, we were taking it, we're assuming that Germany would not be able to um, guarantee its own security without uh, the alliance around it. In the future, well, the first thing you have to do is you have to credibly deter Russia. That's uh, the first uh, task and uh, the foremost task at the moment. And once <clears throat> You have created a stable system of deterrence uh, that nobody in uh, in Russia, or in, particularly in the Kremlin, dreams of attacking NATO or NATO members. That's when you can start rebuilding a trust and uh, start thinking about armament control and maybe even um, uh, disarmament uh, in the long run. But for now, the task is to establish secure deterrence. Well, we should learn that we're actually under attack, that this is something that does not only concern Ukraine, but that concerns all of the EU, that uh, the Kremlin views the EU as an enemy and wants to destroy it. Uh, and we have to be we have to be ready to um, uh, to you know stick together and uh, um, uh, organize support for Ukraine because uh, I think that if uh, the aggressor was successful in Ukraine, uh, it would encourage them to go on and to cause more damage uh, to all of Europe. Well, we should continue to rebuilding the capabilities of the Bundeswehr. We have to uh, establish armed forces that are fully capable of uh, sustaining their role in, um, uh, in the defense of the alliance and the national defense. And we're, there, there's still quite a way to go for us until we have reached that uh, target. And aside from that, we have to reinforce what we have been doing. We have to keep supporting Ukraine. Uh, we have to keep uh, we, we have to support Ukraine even more than we have uh, before because it's still not enough uh, evidently and uh, we have to uh, as, as, as one of uh, one of the things that uh, we have to uh, do right away is we have to build up uh, the brigade uh, that uh, is supposed to be stationed in Lithuania I think NATO has been um, a great uh, has been a, of great benefit for the entire world. Um, up to now, it has been the most successful defense alliance in history, uh, something we've never seen before, and it's a very valuable institution that we need to preserve. Um, I believe that my own life would have taken a different form uh, if it hadn't been uh, for the protection it has enjoyed from day one, I have enjoyed from day one, as somebody who grew up in a NATO member state. Thank you.